Hi, I'm Missy Hodges, a product manager for Carolina Biological Supply Company. Many of our customers have questions about ordering and caring for termites. We hope this short video will answer all of your questions so that you can confidently make your purchase. A termite culture should be ordered a couple of days before use. We recommend receiving it on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday and using it the same week if at all possible. Try to arrange delivery at a time when you can personally receive the package and examine its contents. Please inform your institution's shipping department or front office personnel about your living material package and when it should be arriving. Make sure that they place your package in a dark climate controlled area but not the refrigerator until you can tend to it later that day. Termite cultures will survive for about one to two weeks in the shipping container. However, we recommend using them as soon as possible after receipt. When you receive your termites, remove the lid and examine your termite order carefully. Please take a minute to check the wood and inside the paper towel. Sometimes the termite will be drawn to the moisture found there. The life of your termites can be extended by adding layers of moist cardboard or paper towels in the culture container. Pieces of untreated rotting wood may also be added. Paper and wood, the termite's main diet, consists mainly of cellulose that is converted by the protozoa in the termite's digestive tract into digestible substances. Control of moisture is critical. A dry culture will soon die. A water-saturated culture will mold, producing foul conditions that are unsuitable for termites. It is best to sprinkle a little water daily, or as necessary, onto the top of paper to maintain a slightly moist condition. Check frequently to determine the moisture condition. Cover the container and keep it in a dark, cool place at 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. For close, detailed viewing, termites can be viewed under a stereo microscope. They have the standard insect features of six legs and three body sections, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The life cycle is incomplete metamorphosis, consisting of egg, nymph, and adult. Don't worry if the termites escape in your classroom, they are unable to reproduce. Carolina only provides termites that are workers or soldiers and not the queens. Typically the queens are the only member of the colony that are able to lay eggs. Workers and soldiers are sterile. Soldiers' sole responsibility is to defend against colony invaders. They have a large elongated brownish head with large conspicuous mandibles. The workers make up the bulk of the termite colony. Their job is to excavate wood, construct tunnels, and obtain food to feed the entire colony. During certain times of the year, your termite order will contain termite nymphs due to the life cycle of this organism. Nymphs hatch directly from the egg and eventually develop into an adult termite. This stage of the life cycle is especially fragile. When there are a high number of nymphs in the colony, we will include extra termites in your shipment to ensure you receive a large enough culture for your classroom. Don't worry, these termites will not eat your classroom furniture if they escape. They actually belong to a different genus of subterranean termites that live beneath the soil. These termites infest materials that are in constant contact with water, and in most cases your classroom furniture is not going to be in constant contact with water. Termites are fascinating insects that can be used to observe insect characteristics, recycling nutrients in an ecosystem, symbiosis, insect communication and behavior, and pheromones. Organism-specific information can be found at www.carolina.com or by visiting our Teacher Resources tab on the web and looking under Care Sheets.